In this part, aliens, we will be discussing about the five extinction event of the brachiopods. As we have discussed that brachiopods were have been present in, the, in different era and during different era they were having some diversification and radiation events. So we will be discussing those now. So there were five main extinction of the brachiopods. They experienced these extinction events and these were followed by the recoveries and radiation of the varying mag magnitudes. So radiation as we have discussed earlier that one organism dies and its niche remains uninhabited. So there is the opportunity for the other organisms to evolve and to occupy that niche. That's what uh, these uh, extinction were all about. That one group of organism dies, then another group of organism uh, evolves to take their place. So the first extinction event was the end or Dovician event. Uh, it occurred in two phases. Uh, first was the glaciation, uh, glaciation and it resulted almost 80% of the brachiopod families. And the, uh, the second was the decline of the deltidiodont uh, groups and the dominant, uh, dominance of the spiriferides and pentamerides in the later coming of the age. And in the next uh, event, which was the late demonian events. So the demoniates that happened in the last uh, part of the demonian era, uh, these were the late demonian events. In those events, the climate change was the main reason and due to this, there, they, the climate change removed the atripides and pentamerides. And when they, uh, the climate change has removed that, this also affected the arthroids and stophomenides and to take their place uh, or to survive, the spiriferides and rinconelides were able to survive in the deep uh, water environment and they were able to, you know, uh, diversify. And then comes the Carboniferous era. Uh, the, in the Carboniferous era, there were the intervals of spectacular experimentation. What does the experimentation mean? So ex experimentation means that an organism is able to develop different things to survive in the environment. So uh, in the Carboniferous era, these were the organisms which were able to mimic the corals and develop the extravagant clusters of spines. And either they were mimicking or they reduced their shells and presenting the soft tissue to the outside environment. So in this way, they were experimenting with their bodies. They were evolving in different ways that how they were able to survive in a better way in the environment. And then comes the end Permian mass extinction. It resulted into demise of over 90% of brachiopod species. Uh, this resulted uh, if 90% of uh, species are wiped out, that result into some disaster taxa. Uh, we have discussed about the disaster taxa. Disaster taxa are the organisms which are uh, evolving or which are able to take place uh, after a major mass extinction. So these disaster taxa are just opportunists. They take the opportunity and they uh, flourish. And after that, more stable form of the taxa take their place. So uh, these were the lingulates which were able to uh, take the place after the uh, end Permian mass extinction. And these were the disaster taxa. And later uh, diversified within a few clades dominated by the lincolnellites and the uh, teribetrolites. So uh, red, uh, after that, the rinconelites and teribetrolites were able to take the stable uh, niche instead of the uh, lingulates. And then uh, comes the end Triassic event. Uh, and the end tri Triassic event removed the majority of the remaining spiriferides and the last uh, strophominides. And it also resulted into dominance of rinconelites and terabitrolite groups. And we have the modern brachiopods of today as well. These are exhibiting the remarkable range of adaptations based on a simple body plan and well-defined role in the fixed and low-level benthos. So again, these are the low-level filter feeders. We take the organic matter in the bottom of the ocean and they are surviving there. 